So when the battle might not come back When the boots hit the ground You can't stop us now The prophets in your town We here to shut it down When the boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, be here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground when them boots hit the ground, all sinners should stop now When them boots hit the ground, you can't stop us now The prophets in your town, we here to shut it down When them boots hit the ground When them boots hit the ground, all coolers should stop now It's time for the war cry Brother, right there, do you hear me? Yeah. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. You got a flyer? We're, okay, come deal with your brother. Come deal with your brother. So this is what we're out here to do. We're out here to teach the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans how special you are according to the Bible. Do you, do, you, do you know how special you are according to the Bible? We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah, because we're made in the image of the Most High. That's right! right. You know, you know well, okay, what does the church teach? Adam and Eve as being. Are they black people? Right. Okay. right. right. They, they're all praises, brother. That's wisdom. This, this, this is what the Bible says. Because we are made in the image of the Most High God. To be made in His image is, is a special thing, right? Okay, let's listen to how Adam was made. Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of this world. Look at this dust. Did you see this dirt right there? What color is that? Dark brown, right? Read. Of the ground and breathe into his natural, natural, the breath of life. So God made us in his image from the dirt of the ground. So what color would God be? Probably black. Probably black? Let's That's see what right. the Bible says. Bring it Daniel out. Daniel 79. Because the Bible is the answer to everything, brother. Do you not know that it's far too long we've been lied to. We've been destroyed because Christianity tells us that God's a white man. And that Christ is a white man. And that all the great prophets of history are white people. Right. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible is a heritage about and to and for the Israelites. That's right. All right. You understand that? Right. Exactly. You're right about that, brother. You actually that says that in the Bible. Let's let's find out what God looked like. We're all made in the image of God, right? Let's find out what He's like. Bring it out. Right, bring the it book out. of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. Three. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. He beheld till the thrones were cast down. All the nations that's on power right now are are going to be destroyed when right. Christ when Christ the Black Messiah comes back. Read. Right? And the Ancient of Days did sit. Who's the Ancient of Days? No. Who was here before days were born? God, right, because he made the days. He right. said the ancient of days. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So let's clarify one thing real quick. Read that in the ancient of days did this. I beheld till the thrones were cast down uh -huh. and the ancient of days did sit. If you're sitting down, what must you have? Oh no, if you sit down physically, if you go sit down in a chair, what do you what do you physically have? Or what are you sitting in that chair? A body, right? So it's just going into showing that God had a body. Right. Each of the days had a body. Bring Read. It out. Bring it out. Whose garment was white as snow? If you and what's a garment? Clothing. If he had he said if the ancient of days did sit and whose garment was white as snow, what must he have? A body, right? Right. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. It says, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Right. Who who has pure woolly hair? Black people. Yes, right. right black people. Right. So called black Hispanics and Native Americans. This Bible is about you. Right. God Bring made us in his image. Bring it out. Bring so who was the first man? Adam was a black man. So God is a a, a, a a man with woolly hair, right? 
and he made his son is you you have a kid right do you have kids okay so we all know that when we have kids you have sons and daughters what color did it come out if you're black they come out black right so what will his son look like let's get that daniel 26 bring it up because this is how you get the understanding of the bible you do it precept upon precept we are little and they are little so we're showing you that the people of this bible here a little and they are little are black people right our so-called black hispanic and native americans we're the that's only ones right. that brown skinned people that's we're the right. only ones that fit the curses that's in this bible read the book of daniel chapter 10 and verse 5 uh -huh. then i lift up my eyes and look and beheld a certain man clothed in linen a certain man clothed in linen read whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. Uh -huh. His body also was like the barrel. So he he had uh, uh, linen clothes on, and these clothes were like, uh, his body was like the barrel, meaning he had green garment, beautiful what? garment. Yeah, green. Right, right. And his face had the appearance of lightning. And his face had the appearance of lightning, read on. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Read Christ it. drank wine. wine. What was his first miracle? What was Christ's first miracle? Water hey, into wine. He drank wine, but he didn't drink it to get drunk like we see our people out here doing. He drank it in moderation because you know why? He had to go on the highways and byways and teach the people. And our people are hard-headed even back then. Right. So he had to go home and drink a little wine Jeez. to get the stress off his, what his people were going That's through. Right. Right. And his arms. Uh -huh. His arms. And his feet. And his feet. You got arms and feet, right, brother? Is, is your arms and your feet the same color as the rest of your body? Yeah. Right. You, you, you mean, if, if you if you ain't, that means you got leprosy. But you're not leprosy. So you, your out. arms Bring and your out. feet is the same color as your body, right? right. Read. Like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Wait, color's not in the Bible. Christianity teaches that color's not in the Bible. The Bible says, which what we're supposed to listen to, the Bible says. And his arms. And his feet, uh -huh. like in color, like color, to polish brass. To polish brass. What color is brass? Brown. Color of a penny, right? Okay, so we prove right there that in the old, that Christ is a black man, that God was a black man, That's that right. Adam was a black man. Right. Revelation right. also says the same thing, brother. Do you know that? Bring you know, up. Christ, has this ever been taught to you this way? That Christ was a black man? Right, they in the Vatican, right? Right, they got all that down. In the Vatican, right, right. Right, well, even they prayed to a, a black Madonna. You know that? Yeah. You know that's that's pretty much Mary and Jesus. Yeah. They know that he's a black man too, but they teach they teach lies. They teach lies, and there's a reason to that. Daniel ten. 10 and 5 through 6. Uh, chapter 10, verse 5 through 6. Now Bring listen to this. It's on the flyer too, I, I, oh, brother. But listen to this. Revelation 1 14. Or Bring 1 it the, book, the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means to reveal, read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. His what? His hairs, and the hairs of his head and the hairs on his face, meaning he had a beard. Because you know why? You know why Christ had a beard? That's, you know, that's because it's a commandment, brother. And we're going to get to that. We're going to show you that you being a special people, that you being God's chosen people, you that's have right. rules that you have to follow. That's that's right. Right. And Christ is our example, right? So if we're following the example of Christ, and we know he had a beard because they plucked out his, plucked out uh, some of his beard when he was being crucified. We got to wear a beard and we're going to prove it. Thus saith the Lord. Read. And his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. As he drank wine, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. It says now, and his feet like unto fine brass. And it's going to, it, it's going to explain it to a, a to where a baby can understand Bring it, okay? it up! Bring it, it up! feet like into fine brass, right? Read. As if they burn in a furnace! You burn anything in a furnace, what color is it going to be? 
dark. Christ was a dark black man. That's right. Christ right. was a dark man, not a white woolly head. Oh, uh, uh, not a white goat streaky hair. What do you see on your side right there? Who's that? What? That's him. That's what you know. Uh, this, I, I, I've been taught in our family right. to look more like this. Right. Christianity. This is tradition. He says the tradition from the Catholic Church. Tradition, right, right. Caesar Borgia, Borgia is a real man, but he ain't Christ. Bring it up. He ain't the black Bring Messiah who Bring came to die on the cross for your sins, and he's not the he's not the Messiah that's gonna crack that sky open and come down and save his people out of the condition that we're in. Now, the question that I have for you is, what are we gonna do to get out of the situation or condition we're in? How do we get out of the ghettos? How do we stop getting shot down by um, by cops in the street? How do we stop gangs, drugs, violence? How do we stop all that? We work, together. work together? Yeah, because uh, there's some problems with God. Uh, just been under the problem that they have to turn back to God right. to, in order to escape Okay, so you the key word that I got out of that is we got to turn back to God, right? Right, right? So how do we turn back to God? I'm going to show you. Bring it up! Bring it up! Because to, in, in order to turn back to God, we have to understand what we did to get away from God, right? So what did we do to get away from God? Look, read The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Hallelujah! And it shall come to pass. Okay, so, so this is us. Uh, let me summarize what's going to happen. If we do everything God wants us to do, as far as what he told Moses to give to the children of Israel, if we do all those things, these things are going to happen. Read. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently. The word hearken means listen, right? Okay, read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments to observe and to do 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 is the action word to do all his commandments read which i command thee this day which he commanded us there's no getting out of a command if you command your kid to do something your kids got to do it or there's gonna be punishments right right read that the lord thy god will set thee on high above all nations of the earth are we above all nations of, on the earth right Bring now it out. no we're Bring actually it below all nations of the earth but there's a reason to that so let's get the reason why we're below all nations on the earth Read. the Bring book of deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15 uh -huh. but it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou will not Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we won't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, which is found in the Bible, the entire Bible, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. There's which, that word again, to do all his commandments and his statutes, read. Which I command thee this day, read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses, like where we're at, jump to verse 16, soldier, I mean officer. Jump to verse 16, let's get why, what some of the curses or the parameters of what we're going through right now. Where are we at right now? What do you see out here? You see your surroundings out here? Crime, poverty, uh, 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 wick, food stamps, hatred, all kinds of wickedness out here. Those are all curses that put on upon, upon our people for us breaking his law, statutes, and commandments. Read it out! Read it. Verse 16, cursed shall thou be in the city. Where are we at right now? City. God says this to Moses thousands of years ago that cursed we will be in the city. Read. Right. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So wherever you go to work at, you're going to go for um, a work, a nine to five job, and make barely ends meet to provide for a household, to provide for food. All those things shall be given to us because we're royalty. Right. Those things shall be given to us without us having to go work. But since we broke God's right. law, that's his commandments, we have to work for those things. Now let's find out what what can you do to help us as a nation get back into our the good graces of God. Okay? Bring it up! So there's there's rules. So let's get to some of those rules. Like for instance, today's the Sabbath day. Did you know that? Do you know on a Sabbath day there's no buying or selling? 
Right. See, that, that's something the Christian church is going to tell you. The, the priest's lips should keep knowledge, but they don't give you that knowledge. They don't give you the proper understanding of what this Bible is talking about, all right? So let's get to one of the commandments that I can see as, as your brother, I have to tell you this. I have to tell you, brother, you're breaking this commandment. This is one of the commandments. See, the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. When you make baldness upon your head, what are you doing? Shaving it, right? So it says, thou shalt not make baldness upon your head. So you're not breaking that commandment because you got hair on your head, right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. What do you notice about every man that's out here right now? We got beards, or, or, or we can't grow beards like myself. We got we grow what we can, right? That's right. That's right. So that's the, right. the Bible says this is a commandment. God says, do not make baldness upon your head. Neither shall you what? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Nor make any cutting in their flesh. Give me that uh, Leviticus 19, 27. Bring it out. The, the Bring book it of out. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. So God had to re-say it, restate it again because he knew our people were going to be like, nah, I don't have to do that. I don't, I, nah, I don't want to. Uh, nah, I like to shave my face. That's an Egyptian custom, first off. We learned that from the Egyptians. Right. Now who we learn it from? The Gillette commercials. Who's in the Gillette commercials? The so-called white man shaving his face. And, and we we think that's professional, like that's that's the it thing right now. God says the it thing for the Israelites is having a beard. That's right. right. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. Bring it out. Ye shall not round the corners of your head, uh -huh. neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. The word mar means destroy. It means right. don't go in and make the chin strap super skinny, super skinny. No, God says let that thing grow out. Well. How do you tell the difference between a male lion and a female lion? Mane, right. He has That's a beard. Right. If you cut the male lion's beard off, will he look like the female lion? Yeah, you won't you won't be able to tell the difference. Right. So what what we're out here is to teach our people is how to get out the conditions we're in. Bring Since it up. that's listening in the car. You are a special people according to the Bible. Brother, I got more for you. Bring it out. So we're gonna we're gonna show you right now on how to properly keep the Sabbath. So you said you knew today was the Sabbath, right? So Christianity tells you uh, uh, on the Sabbath is uh, called the church. 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 One more scripture. One more scripture. Because God word, God word is more important. Anything you can do. That's right. 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 The book of Nehemiah. Chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land shall bring wear and or any victuals. The wear and victuals as referring to is merchandise. Any stores, anywhere you go. If they bring wear or victuals, any kind of merchandise, anything you can buy or if you have anything to sell, read. On the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. Right. To sell. What? To sell? To what? To sell? To sell? Three. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. That's he right. Says, we will not. That's a commandment. So you should not be buying. You should not be selling on the Sabbath That's day. That's right. What you should be doing? One more scripture. Listen to this. One more scripture. Zephaniah two and one. Listen to this. Listen to this. Real quick. Real quick. So this is something else you should be doing on the Sabbath. All right. So I got, it's my job to let you know these things so that when you go on your way, you're not breaking these commandments because you're already being marked right now. The right. Most High decided for you to come up here right now and learn your true nationality right. according to the Bible and how to get out the conditions that reign. All right? So listen to this. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. It says gather yourselves together. The Israelites. Read. Yay. Gather together, O oh nation not desired. Are we a nation that's desired by anybody in this world? What is happening in Libya right now? I don't know. They're, they're enslaved. They're going through what's called slavery right now. Being killed, being raped, robbed. They're, they're going through all kinds of matters of, matters of, of, of wickedness. Taking their organs, 
auction, being sold as slaves. That's all going on in, in Libya right now, as we speak, today. Right. I'm sorry? They don't talk about that. Exactly. You know why they sh what they show on the news? To keep you in a deep sleep. That's, That's right. what they show on the news. But how do we get out the deep sleep? How do we get out the deep sleep? By keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, gathering together on the Sabbath day, not shaving our face, keeping God's command so he can do what? Luke 168. All praise the All praise All right, listen to this while you're walking away. Luke 168. Why do we need to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments? Why do we need to do what God says so he can send his son, Jesus the Christ, down to this earth to save us? And don't listen to what I say. Listen to what the Bible says. Let the Bible be true and every man alive. Read. Read the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Right. For he has visited and redeemed his people salvation for us and raise up a horn of salvation for us this bible is only written to and for and by the israelites right. it says right. raise up a horn of salvation for us Read. verse 71 uh -huh. that we should be saved from our enemies that we should what that we should be saved from our enemies. No, right? no. We don't got enemies. We live in a land of the free, the home of the brave. The Bible says we should be what? That we should be saved from our enemies. That's right. And from the hand of all that hate us. And from the hand of all that hate us. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.